There, Sparhawk OD here. Uh, another great question. This one is about uh, about little children. The question is in two parts. I love two-part questions. Number one, how do you do an eye exam on a little child? I'm talking about a young child, 18 months old, three years old, four years old, uh, and, and what am I actually looking for? So. Uh, let's reverse that. What are we actually looking for when we do an exam on uh, on such a young child? Uh, obviously, they can't. They usually don't complain of anything, and uh, and so it's hard to to know. You know, is something actually going wrong, or you know, or, or, or not? There's a few things that. Uh, one of them is uh, we want to know how their eyes are tracking or how they're turning. Does one eye move without the other eye moving? Do uh, I mean do they have a uh, you know a crossed eye? Does one eye you know really flip out to the outside or something like that? Those are those are obvious things that uh, that you would notice. Uh, number two, we want to know if there's a really high refractive error. In other words, is there a lot of astigmatism? Is there a lot of farsightedness? A lot of nearsightedness? We're talking about the big numbers. Um, and then we want to know about their eye health. You know. It, is it are, are the eyes healthy in general? Is there some opacity inside the lens? Do they have you know one of these cataracts that uh, that that, uh, that are, are possible, um, which would cause a problem down the road, or do they have a retina problem, or do they have you know a, a, a structural problem with their with their eyes? You know, so obviously, um, uh, eye health is a, is an important part of it. So how do we do that? How do we check a, how do we check a, a young kid's eyes? Uh, it's based usually, uh, overwhelmingly, uh, mostly on the cooperation of the child. Uh, of course, every every kid is different. Um, a two-year-old is going to be bouncing off the walls uh, sometimes, but even some two-year-olds are very cooperative. Um, a uh, an eighteen-month-year-old, uh, a, a one-year-old. Uh, Someone who's three or four, they they're all uh, they're all different. But in general, uh, in at the very minimum, there's a few things I look at. Uh, first thing, I introduce them to something called all of my lights, and uh, these this one uh, of course uh, just a uh, just a pen light, just a shining uh, shining light. I'm going to check their uh, their pupil reactions. I'm going to shine the light and have them follow it, or I'll find something else to have them follow so I can see how their eyes look. Um, just uh, just mostly uh, something that really catches their attention, and, and I can move it around and and, uh, and look at them uh, and observe them. Another thing I use is the ophthalmoscope. Uh, everybody's seen one of these. Um, this is the thing that uh, that all kinds of physicians look into, and they shine it in there, and they try to look inside your eyes with. That is a is a pretty useful tool. I can step back from the from a child, turn this on, and with a with a bigger light, and shine it right at them like that, and uh, and look at the reflex. I can look at the reflex right through there, and what I should see is nice bright reflexes from both eyes. They should be equal. Um, should be nice and bright. Uh, shouldn't be any like little black spots or opacities. Um, that's going to tell me a lot. That's going to tell me if there's a really big difference between the two eyes. Uh, it's going to tell me, um, you know, or, or you know, or is this child seeing you know just dark gray and there's really no reflex? So there's a problem with the retina, with the with the lens, with the cornea, something. Um, so that's uh, that's actually quite helpful. Also, uh, you know. The main use of it, uh, you know, looking inside the eyes, making sure that uh, that we can see those little blood vessels and the little optic nerve, and making sure everything is nice and nice and clear and uh, and healthy. The other thing we use then, this is called a retinoscope, a streak retinoscope. Um, when I use this, we turn it on and we shine it. It has a it has a uh, the, the light comes out in a in a streak in a line, and so when I shine that inside an eye, I go back and forth, back and forth like this. And when I'm looking through, like that, I will uh, look at the reflection coming back. Is that reflection moving the same direction as I move it, or is it going the opposite direction? And is it uh, is it doing a scissor action? All just all, all these kind of subtle things that I'm looking for. That will tell me then how about the refractive error. In other words, is there a lot of uh, farsightedness? Is there too much astigmatism? Is there a big difference between the two eyes? That's a main. That's a main thing. So uh, that about that uh, that takes care of the you know the really easy things that we can do um, in an eye exam. It doesn't take very long. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, 
I love to see kids like that, and and, and uh, you know, they, you can really rule out a lot of uh, you know dangerous things that that, uh, that are, are rare, but uh, but nevertheless uh, not very fun to have as a as a child. So uh, get your kids in. Do get one of these little, uh, you know, short eye exam. Obviously, we're not going to put the four after in front of your 18-month-old child and say, you know, which one is better, one, two, one, two. Come on, work with me. Uh, but you know, we can tell a lot, of, a lot about uh, about your child's eyes and uh, and really give uh, some peace of mind. Uh, so, let me know what you want to know, and I will uh, sure to make a video to answer your questions.